Okay, if the opponent moves one foot, and I can move two feet, I can beat him to the spot on the floor. I can gain a superior position. So, I've got to work on this bounce, and I've got to be able to explode. It's got to be this explosive element in your legs, and you get part of that by crouching, going underneath the shot. Okay. I can gain a superior position. So you're trying to generate full power to his center mass in a position where he can't hit you. So we've got to gain that position, and that's by moving both feet. It's coming in a straight line. You gotta go in a circle. When you get past his front knee and elbow, that's when you gotta let her rip. Okay, so you gotta understand these basic principles and apply them to boxing. Zone away from his power. You gain a superior position, and that's when you punch full power. Let it go. Today we're looking at Sugar Ray Leonard, and he is worthy of some study. He boxed on his toes and pretty good fundamentals. Ray had good head movement and defense and he used his natural athleticism to gain position. Today we're going to look at his use of a pivot and try to slow it down and understand what he's doing where he moves both feet and shifts position especially when he has them on the ropes. Ray used his legs to shift to the right and throw either the right hand or the left hook to good effect. This is plyometrics in boxing. He's using his legs and moving both feet at the same time to gain the position. 